So, I was messing around on the Collect Conjecture Nixtrogen website, and I decided to just take the number of steps the number it took, copy it, paste it in the input. You know, to see what happened. And as you'll possibly predict if you're like the genius of the century, yes, did experiment with it off camera. It actually ends up at 1. It's super weird. Here, 14 goes to... I have no idea, but it goes to a number. 17 goes to... 12. 12 goes to... 9. 9 goes to 19. 19 goes to... Twenty, twenty goes to seven. Seven goes to sixteen, and then sixteen collapses down fast. Sixteen goes to four. Four goes to two. Two goes to one. And so I decided to write a program that would just take the input and, you know, just see what happened. So I wrote 4,000, did the thing, took 10 steps, and it has a bit of overflow protection because Python only has um, 1,000 recursion depth and there's no way to do it without recursion depth. Recursion depth. The like, most spontaneous cause of death in the universe. <laughs> anyway, so it actually worked. And, as you can see here, I'm derping around, I have no idea what I'm doing. Just more proof, you can watch the list if you want. So, yeah, and I noticed if you took the number of steps it took to do the Cobalt's Conjecture for a number, and did it on that number and repeated, you'd eventually get to one. Also a really fun thing to try. Go on the website, enter in a starting number, look how many times it's been entered, and enter that. You'll, that's the easiest way to generate random numbers <laughs> to enter. Anyway, I think I'm about done. So, good speed.